Elder God says, math is the language of nature. It's no wonder there are loads of connections. Indeed. Lion Shisho, here with all these healthy munchies. I'm here with a 16-inch pizza, a bottle of fan Fanta, and some Doritos. <laughs> Hilarious. Well, pizza can be super delicious, right? can be super healthy as well. Why not? Fanta I haven't had forever, man. I don't know what Fanta would taste like right now. And Doritos, I've, I haven't had Doritos or Fanta forever, brother. Long, long time. Is math invented or discovered? Math is the language that we've come up with to try to understand the world around us. So I don't know if it's invented or discovered. I think it's, it's, it's something that we've developed, right? to be able to understand what the hell's going on right nice bro now the brownies is in full effect and this pizza is divine <laughs> nice and the fanta would taste so good would taste so good okay let's take down the vape let's DJ, we'll be back. Okay, we'll be back. Turn it off. All right. I got a feeling we might not hit the liqueur. Gang, should we do a comic book haul? Definitely uh, recovered, then cultivated to serve humanity. Math was a gift, Elder God says. Discovered, definitely discovered then cultivate it to serve humanity discovered you say discovered is it this is is coming up with something is that a discovery coming up with a language uh coming up with a with a with a perspective on a certain something is that a discovery i guess that's a discovery where does the word, word math comes from <laughs> mathematics <laughs> But you already knew that one. <laughs> you want a deeper meaning of it. I have no idea. Mathematics. Greek, I assume. Is it Greek? The oldest math we know is not Greece. It's the Middle East, I think. Right? Uh, Cheryl. Ha. There's my friend Cheryl. How are you doing? Awesome. It's in nature. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. Mathematics is everywhere. And one thing we have to appreciate is some of the things that we call laws like newton's laws they're not laws they're approximations so we've developed a language to help us understand the world around us and a lot of our understanding of the world around us based on the mathematics the language we've come up with to try to understand the world around us are approximations they're not laws right they're our best approximations of what's going on right Please appreciate that. So Newton's laws are not laws. They're approximations. Maxwell's equations, where if you're studying physics, I think they show you four or five. There's actually 20 of them, right? They have other variables. So the shortened versions that we see, they're not laws anymore. They're approximations. And I don't even know if the other ones are laws. They're approximations, right? So it's, it's brilliant. It's brilliant all around. Right, it's brilliant all around. Elder God, the word mathematics comes from the Greek word mathema, meaning knowledge or learning. Nice, nice. Mathema, meaning knowledge or learning. Nice, nice. I did not know that. There's one word, um, two words that I learned that involved the word math in the last few years that I didn't know about or last 15 years or whatever. One is math core metal math core. I think that's an amazing genre that has developed in the last 20 years. Right. So Dillinger escape plan would be math core. Right. Animals as leaders was math is math core. Basically, math core is very intricate metal music that's layered. Right. Phenomenal, really dive in there and blow your mind right the other word is polymath i didn't really know what polymath was until i looked it up i was like oh polymath that sounds fantastic and that's sort of along the lines of uh, meaning knowledge or learning which is basically someone who's you know likes diving into 
or an expert and I don't want to say expert but understands multiple systems from what I understand anyway polymath I like that word Joe Chicho uh, I like to think that it's a combination of the two we create axioms and then follow them to their logical con uh, to their logical conclusion we can define what a circle is by the fact that the ratio of a circle circumference to its diameter is equal to 3.14159 dot 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 and that's pi which is an approximation right isn't isn't uh isn't something we decide to be true it's isn't isn't something we decide to be true it's objectively true and what uh and what discovered see here's the thing joe what you said there is true but you got to go one step before the axiom all axioms have assumptions right so the mathematics that we know right now has been developed based on the assumptions that we made originally to come up with the axioms and this is where we've come so far so that says two things right we've developed developed a language which is extremely precise and works for almost all situations that we can encounter on or some people encounter the only ones that they are aware of in their lives right there's situations where mathematics doesn't really jive right what's going on right so that's one thing it does we're very good at developing a language discovering as Elder God says something that explains our interaction with matter right the other thing it says our original assumptions were pretty solid right so those are really good assumptions and they've come up with this now guarantee there's a couple of things we haven't accounted for in our assumptions which if we're able to come up with will probably link up macro and the micro right the the you know give us one equation for everything when it comes to physics right it's interesting it's cool it's super cool but amazing approximation if you consider like people say oh are, are we really intelligent yeah damn fucking we are of course we're intelligent look at the language we've come up with to try to explain what's going on some of it may be ridiculous but hell we're at least on a learning path that's why we need to share information that's why censorship is the the censorship is the death of humanity right really any any place any state any person that wants to censor free thought free communication is literally wants to commit genocide on what it means to be human right so censors are the enemy of humanity just like bureaucrats are the enemy of humanity right they usually work together hand in hand okay so yeah kudos to human human entity to be able to do this wow super cool lions i'm too high for math talk right now <laughs> i should bring out a board let's complete the square oh my god plato and euclid the father of geometry believed uh to varying degrees mathematics to be the architecture of nature that nature is a physical manifestation of mathematical laws i i would agree with that but em underline emphasize physical matter matter right so the mathematics we know is really anchored to matter right but us human beings are not just this matter there's something else the spark we want to think about it whatever you want to think about so we need to develop a language that and some people will say we already have a language for that maybe vibrations music whatever it is right so this is this become connects up with the micro and the macro right if your energy your there is no matter the, 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 all that just right so the question is can we in this state come up with some kind of mathematics if you want to call it to also explain things that are not connected to matter 
right? Like, it's brilliant. And some people, some mathematicians have tried to work on this, right? Oh, the duality thing, the, the, for physics, um, what do you call it? The observer affects what's being observed, right? So as soon as you observe something, you change. It's, uh, or probability of whatever it is increases, right? So it's cool stuff, cool stuff. Oh God. So it's probably both discovered and invented. Yeah, yeah. But is there another word for that? I don't know. My name is Trout. That's, that's what's so exciting about learning. It's like you're getting closer and closer to the truth all the time. You just can't have hubris about it and think we already know all there is to know. That's a dead end, man. That's a dead end. 100% and those are cults. This is the truth. There is nothing else beyond this. The effing truth. <laughs> Anybody else that contradicts the truth is evil. Stop associating with them. Then you know you're in a cult. 100%. And especially if, when they control your diet. Okay. 100% cult. Right? That's some, some bacon. After this, we're going to do a comic book haul, gang. We've got to do a comic book haul. Nice. Look at this baby broccoli. Look at this. So good. From our CSA. The CSA is kicked in and bacon. All right? Healthy snacks are the best snacks. Super delicious gang. Badger, did the same civilization have the same mass skills like the Romans and Egyptians? The Romans and Egyptians, yes. But what about previous civilizations to that? Right? Mayans. Look at the indigenous population in North America. There's there is a Oh no made a little loud, sorry. There is um structures out there that the indigenous population in North America has built uh, in United States, one of them I know of, where they built the structure, which basically at certain times of the year or every 12 years, you know, the light comes through the window, shines on this altar, all this jazz, right? And based on astronomy and to do astronomy, you need mathematics. That's one of the core places that mathematics developed from right and people are like how did these people un do this you need mathematics to do this and we don't know their mathematics like we don't know the mathematics of the pyramids right we don't and there are multiple pyramids all over the place dark matter again nice we're gonna give it a little bit of head i want it creamy creamy i want it creamy nice head i wanted this one to be creamy that's a little bit too much head but <laughs> we'll take it we'll take it gaming goods i'll take two plus two for one thousand alex will you then we're gonna do comic book call it's no one no, no longer alex trebek poor alex he was canadian but he died of cancer i think a couple of years ago, two, three years ago. By the way, the one who's hosting it now, uh, I found this out from my mom because she watches, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, oh, I forgot the name. Uh, Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy now. <laughs> we always have to say it together. Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy. Jeopardy, right? Um, but the person who's hosting Jeopardy now 
we used to be the champion that was there before and they had a they they had three candidates in mind and this is the person they ended up picking and i've i watch jeopardy when i go to my mom's um and he's a pretty good host and he's a pretty good host but here's to alex alex trebek I love that sometimes it's just you need the head that's good enough nice nice My name, my name's Trout. Yeah, man. I think we have a spark of the divine, a connection to another plane or something. It's what gives us will to play with the physical world around us and change things. Indeed, indeed. And as long as you understand or you've connected or experienced the that part, which is not might have a connection to the matter, but could be severed right if you've had that disassociation with matter let's call it right then you realize that our current understanding of the world is not enough it just doesn't cut it right you you, you realize hey wait a second there's a little bit more here not only a little bit more a lot more right so it's worth exploring hence psychonauts hence psycho and gang, salute to Julian Assange, right? Free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange, publishing journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. Something that we desperately, desperately need in our societies. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org or countless resources available online. Salud guy. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Lark Bart, cheers mate. Cheers. Salute. Salute. All the God. Uh, those research uh, research occasions in which the very act of measurement or observation directly alters the phenomena under investigation end quote yeah yeah one of the best examples i heard of this is just imagine if you want to measure the pressure on your tire right the only way you can measure it is put the gauge in it and as soon as you put put the gauge in it you change the pressure of the tire that was one of the best examples i've seen or best metaphors i've seen to try to explain it all right